In this video, we're going to talk about how to add markup in BuildySat. Specifically, we'll go through the three different ways you can add markup in the system and how they work together. We're then going to talk a bit about options for tax-free items. And lastly, we're going to look at the sell price breakdown. Now, to begin, there's three ways to add markup in BuildExact. The first way is to add an overall or a global markup. And to do that, I'm going to hit the markup button down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and start to type in my first line. I'm going to call this just markup as an example. And I'm just going to put 20%. So what that means is that automatically my quote is going to calculate 20% markup across the board. So 20 cents uh, for every dollar is going to be automatically applied markup. It doesn't matter whether it's materials, subcontractor, labor, it's automatic 20% calculated. As a side note, you can also use this rounding functionality here, which allows you to actually round the quote up to a certain dollar amount using a little bit of additional markup here. So I'm just going to, as an example, just round my quote up to the nearest $10. And once I've done that, I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see here, Build Exact will automatically calculate the 20%. And again, I can continue to go through and add costs in and, and that sort of thing. And Build Exact will continue to add the 20% on. And you'll see here the little R, which has come up from the rounding adjustment. So you can see here to round my quote up to the nearest 10, it's added an additional $2.39. So coming back to so three ways to add markup. First way is the overall markup. The second way, though, is that we can apply additional markup per category. And the key and important part here is that it's going to add the two layers of markup together and then apply it to all the items now in the category. So the original 20 plus the category five means that all of these items are going to have 25% markup on them. As well, I can actually add additional markup per line item as well. And so again, really emphasizing that all it's doing is it's then adding the three layers of markup together and then applying the collective markup there. So 20% plus 5% plus 5%. So this item should have a combined markup of 30%, whereas this item would have zero plus five plus 20, so 25% and so on and so forth. Now, the key here and really what this unlocks is as you work through your estimate costings, we know it's really common just to apply an overall markup percent. But as you work through, if you identify certain categories, uh, groupings of items or just items that you've put together for various reasons, and you see that there's an additional opportunity to add a little bit of markup, be it to make up for further additional um, labor that maybe has to go in um securing those items or managing those items, you might want to apply a little bit extra markup there, make a little bit extra money, and same with the items as well too. Now, from here, we can always go ahead and elect a tax-free item. So if we need to do that, we just simply click on the blue number here. Now, yours may look different. This is just my aggregate tax percent. And what I can do is I can go ahead and mark that as tax exempt if I need to. And you'll see there that'll just go ahead and mark it back to zero. So i.e. no tax has been applied to this from an income perspective. Last thing to touch on in this video is seeing the sell price breakdown. So the sell price is going to be this cost here on the right hand side. And what I can do is I can actually go ahead and give it a click and I can see how the math has been derived to come to a sell price of this item here. So you'll start with the estimated cost. Then we'll see the markup. And we can click to show breakdown so you can see how that how the markup has been applied to that item. So there is our estimate wide 20%. There's our category 5%. And then there, this item has attracted an additional four cents for the rounding adjustment. We can then see the redistributions. Now, we're not going to go through redistributions in this video. We do have another video that talks about allowance items and redistribution. So if you are curious about that, definitely worth checking it out. But essentially, that's going to give us a total on that item, then the tax. So what that means is the client will effectively pay $3,421.34 for that item. And that cost will then be shown on the quote letter if you have elected to show that level of detail. And that's how to add markup.